Hey guys, it's me, Eric Exer, and today we are at the nature walk, as you can see all around us. Um, so yeah, we'll just be walking in nature, I guess, for as long as we please. And um, soon, we're going to be stopping at every single station and reading it to see what there is. Um, there's known to be alligators and otters in this place, so hopefully we see one of them. <laughs> uh, hoping it's not an alligator and it's an otter. So yeah, let's do this. Number seven. The large round growths you see um, on some of the... Oh, hold on, I have to like read it from here. The large round growths you see on some of the mangrove trees are called burls. It is commonly found in the form of a rounded outgrowth of a tree trunk or branches that is filled with small knots from dormant buds. Dormant, dormant buds. They do not harm... To the, they do no harm to the tree and slowly grow larger until the tree dies of natural causes. An injury as well as insects or fungus initially cause the burl to start growing. Insect, insect infestations and certain types of mold infestations are the most common cause of this condition. So like this, you see this? This is what this is. It's like an infection in the tree and it stays there until the tree dies. So let's not touch the infection. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. This, this whole entire area is infected. Wow. Let's get out of the infection area. Chop, chop. Okay, I think we just got out of the infection area. Nope. <laughs> I was totally wrong. As you can see through there, I see some water. Is that an ocean? <laughs> That's the water you see when you come over that bridge. Oh, this is the river. This is a river that we're going to see in a second, hopefully. Black mud. Oh, shoot. I don't want to drop my phone. Black mud. <laughs> also, it smells woody in here. Well, obviously, we're not. Oh, no. More infected trees. May you rest in peace. Okay, guys, we're about to cross over a very nice bridge. So, as you can see, you can see a whole bunch of water. And now you see a lot of water. Wait, there's floating gazebos? Question mark? How do you get to them? Look around for all uh, for the different types of birds and other animals that inhabit that inhabit Four Mile Cove. You may see a bald eagle, watch an osprey catch a fish, or observe manatees floating in the cove. What? Shallow areas in the cove are home to sea grasses, which contribute greatly to the sport fishing industry and support the marine food chain. Seagrass beds are among the most productive natural communities in the world and need our protection. Seagrass beds are also provided or provide grazing areas for the endangered West Indian manatee. Manatees may be spotted in the preserving in the preserve during the warm months, but they are more likely to be seen in the area behind the kayak shack. More information concerning manatees can be found in the visitor center, which we passed a long time ago. I cannot take a picture, but I can take a video and then screenshot it. So I'm gonna take a screenshot right here. Now we are walking away. <laughs> Anyone wanna sit down? No? Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a sign underwater. Walking back. Hopefully there's no spiders. Infected tree. Infected tree. Infected tree. Infected tree. No more infected trees. Yay. That's a word stick. Infected tree area approaching. They all have tumors. Those aren't called tumors. If you listen to what I said, it's infected. Why are you yelling? It's like bark. It's infected bark. Look, listen, look, read here, and you'll understand. They are not tumors. 
They're usually caused by insects. And they puff out. That was Jade doing something. Oh, it almost hit you. Oh, that thing that she had. That's nice. He's racing us. Look, it's Where'd blue. Where'd he go? It's blue. I saw oh. this blue tail. Well, let's read this one. Read it already. No, we didn't. Yeah, you did. There's believed to be otters in this world. Yeah. They're usually found over here. As you can see, I see a little bit of movement over there. There's bubbles. There's a rainbow. There's an orange thing. Look on this one. It looks really beautiful on a phone. Here's what it says, because I don't think you see it. Look below for small holes in the ground. These are burrows of fiddler crabs. In the past, they were present in large numbers, but human activity has reduced their numbers significantly. At low tide, the males come out of their burrows and wave their large claws in the air to attract a mate and keep away rivals. They play an important role in keeping the mar mangrove forest healthy by... I have no idea what that says. <laughs> the soil with their digging and bringing plant debris with their burrows. In undistributed places like the 1,000 islands of the Everglades, countless numbers of fiddler clubs make their ground appearing to the moving. Ground appear to the move. To be moving. Okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I saw something! Is that blood? No, it's just red water. I recorded it. That was very scary. You're knocking something. What the heck is that? I think that was a fish. I think that was a fish. I'm hoping that was a fish. <laughs> this is scary all alone. That's a bear. That's definitely a bear. Or that's a car. That's also uh, it could be a car. Go away. Get the bush on a tree. <laughs> I hear some crazy sounds. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running for my life. 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 Running for my I have 5,161 uh, 5, million left to go. Not million minutes, million gigabytes or something like that. <laughs> Until this recording has to stop. This is better web right there. That was a drip. That's a tree. There's a thing up ahead, but I don't think I want to read it. Or else they're just going to leave me behind. <laughs> <laughs> what? Spider web right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really huge. <laughs> pine tree, or not pine trees. We don't live here. Alright, more 
The oh. palm trees, there we go. Spider web. Tree. 18. Now it's unpaused. 20. 20. And that's the bridge. Nice bridge. I think I want to sit all the way at the edge. So from here, you can't even see the gazebos. Because we walked so far. They're not, like, they're not even in the middle of the ocean anymore. It's just not there. This is all salt water, by the way, guys. And girls. 21. Where do you see that? Warning, algae alert, swim, your own risk. Yeah, right now we're having a red uh, red tide. The water's not red, though. So, why do they call it red tide? Pretty much this means that there's too much algae in the water to the point where you can't swim. What? The algae. No, all I see is coral. I, I see this? I see the white part. I see white. See what? The algae. No. You don't see that right here? They're you like can't. like little sparkles? You, what? They're like white. They're like salt. Where? The ground, the water, you don't see it? They're like salt. That's like the little algae I've ever seen in a while. That's algae. That's what they're talking about. I know what algae is, Daddy. No, that's what they're talking about. It's all over the place. Yep. You guys see it, the algae? I don't know if my phone can capture it. I'm trying my best. You're not going to see it. Who knows? I might. I like to come, come out today. Come swim. Go for a dive. With some fish and sharks and alligators. Hurrah! You guys want to see a wave? Wave! Those are some pretty big waves. Not to mention critical attention. Well, guys, this video has been going on for no, 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 no. Twenty-two.